Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a flip through of this cute little book that I picked up. Matchstick Mouse, the Springtime Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And the book is about 10 by 8. Soft cover back page. <laughs> Big blow up of the mouse here. It's got his little bread and everything here. Now, um, there's a series of the uh, Matchstick Mouse books. Um, I think there's like three or four of them. This is the spring book, so it's not like the other ones. So I'll leave a link down to at least this one. I don't know if it comes up with all of them when you put a link in like that. But we'll go ahead and do a little flip through of this one. Find the front page. Book belongs to... And then you get the copyright information over here. Uh, get our website here you can go to. And then we get into the book. You can tell that you can see a shadowing coming by from the other side of the page here. Thin paper. If you like, you can just take your page out and use your copy -er copy machine <laughs> and put it on different paper just for yourself to color. Might be kind of fun to do that but I think this paper is going to be okay. It's got uh, some tooth to it so it's not really smooth. Most pencils will like that. And, well I didn't even say anything about the page. Okay this springtime book has got little critters to go along with the mouse. So it's not just the mouse in his um, little circle doing his things. He's got his friends in the springtime book helping him out. So here we've got our first page. We got a little ducky and they're kind of you know spring animals so they'll be babies and some of these pages are um, close to Easter. This is the front cover book. He's driving his matchstick. <laughs> Cute. This is my first book of the Matchstick Mouse, so I haven't really looked at everything. He's got his little buddy, the worm here. So I know he has another little buddy he uh, goes around with, and it's a little uh, like bee bug type guy. Got the cute little baby birds. Trying to squish in there. <laughs> He's got his little spider friend here in the kitchen, making little pastries, little worm guy. He's cleaning. He's on a thimble. <laughs> Cute. Another little buddy. A smile on his face. A little froggy. Taking a swim. <laughs> He's just cuddled up with this guy taking a nap. And here's his little bug friend. I know he flies because he was flying somewhere else. This is doing handstands with his little matchstick bird inside his house. The worm guy hanging on his tail. <laughs> and here we got our bunnies. Loppy ear bunnies. <laughs> It looks like we're going out to dig and <coughs> plant some seeds here. It's cute. They both got former hats on. Well, he does. You've got your normal hat. <laughs> Look, the overalls are cute, though. <laughs> Done for the day. And our little bug friend here. Little wormy. That must be a window inside the house. Here we got a little calf. It's like out in the meadow. Cute snails. You guys know how much I like snails. <laughs> and we're just tromping on a, bri a little branch here. Their little worm friend. Got our new spring hats on. <laughs> Turtle. 
brought him some apples it looks like a little worm again I don't know he's a mouse that couldn't be an apple it would be well nicer this big apples are <laughs> would be a lot bigger could be like a some kind of fruit in that basket how's that this reminds me of another kind of round critter that puts a leaf over the head <coughs> Totoro bus stop little guys are hiding over here <laughs> Easter egg hunting I got a little basket full of eggs you got some eggs hiding in here you can find probably add a few more if you like it's cute he's hanging upside down with the little birdie here makes you wonder what he's hanging down on we're planting the seeds for a new harvest I guess <laughs> a little worm is cute and they're in a tin can here sting from the water Triplets, they don't want to get wet. I've got a pop can lid over here, too. Ooh, a little lamb. That's cute. And he's just happy, dancing around here. Could do those in uh, uh, pink flowers. Be pretty. Little baby chicken. Uh, we're having tea. <laughs> He's holding it with his tail. That's cute. And a carrot cake. How fun. Mm, not quite sure. They've got tickets falling out of the sky and a banner. they got flags. They seem to be running. A marathon or a parade or something. Got a four-leaf clover here. You could do that in green. It's St. Patrick's Day. Here he's making uh, colored pots. Spiders help. <laughs> and he's got a map. Going someplace fun. He's got his backpack and everything. Now oh, they just look happy sitting in the sunshine. That's cute. Well, they went and made themselves a wind chime made out of seashells and twigs. They all look happy about that. It's just a happy book. <laughs> a little relaxing, <laughs> having a piece of cake. And a big Easter egg. Everybody's helping. <laughs> Is that the last page? Yep. It's the last one. And then you have a blank one here that you can use to test your mediums on. You, Since they're single-sided, if you put a real thick piece of paper or piece of plastic behind here, you could use Copics or alcohol markers or any kind of markers that you want. Back page, you can test uh, things like watercolor markers or watercolor paints, that kind of stuff. Just... Uh, you want to use that kind of stuff in there that's really cute I'll leave a link down below to where I purchased it it was just on Amazon I know that the, the other books are probably on there too if you have any questions leave them in the uh, comments section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can I hope you all have a great day hope you enjoyed the book it looks really fun take care everyone bye now <laughs>